This training video is a continuation from the previous one about the SharePoint versioning feature because here, once you have all those different versions, as you recall, with our co-author SharePoint document, well, let me show you. When you click on the ellipsis button, and then click on the second ellipsis button and look at the version history of the document, wouldn't it be nice to be able to compare two of these? I mean, if you like one version and there's some other version that you're like, hey, there's some things that I really like between the two. Let me compare and accept and reject those changes or differences between the two and keep the best. Well, you can do that here. Like if I want to take my original and compare it to, let's do the latest version, but you can compare it to any other version you want. But to keep it simple, we'll do the original to the latest version. Then that way, once you compare the two and accept or reject the changes between the two, you can save it to the desktop. Well, you can't save it as a version. SharePoint doesn't allow that, but you can save it to your desktop. And then if you want, you can upload it back to the SharePoint server, which is nice because that way, instead of saving that comparison as another version, we can keep the version integrity separate from when we start comparing the versions and it'll force us to save it to our desktop and we have to upload it as a separate document. So to do this, let me go ahead and close out. We have to check the document out. So with this up, I can go ahead and click on its ellipsis button and check it out. Once it's checked out, you can see that green little icon. Go ahead and click on the document link. Say allow and say yes, I trust it, if you trust it. And then if you recall my compare and combine training video, if not, you want to watch it because it's pretty much the same thing here. When I want to go ahead and compare two different versions, just come up here and click on the review tab, go to the compare group and click on its compare drop down arrow. Because in that first training video on compare and combine, you only get these two options. But when you're using SharePoint, hey, you get three other options. You get comparing the major versions, the last version, or specific version. Now I want to compare this document right here, which is the latest version, or the last version, which I don't want to do here because I'd be comparing it to itself. But I want to compare the last document to a specific version like the original one. So let me go ahead and select it. And if it's not showing it, let me close out and click on the refresh button and try it again, compare to specific version. There it is. So the last version or the latest version, I want to compare to the original. And there's the comments, that's fine. Click close and then with it selected, go ahead and click compare. And there you go. Now you'll notice down below on the taskbar, you're getting a document that's flashing, at least I have. Let me go ahead and select it. And up here it says, to make this previous version become the latest version, click restore. You know what? I don't want to mess with this. I like the way it is. Let me go ahead and close out and go back to my comparison between the latest version and the original version. And you can see that with the latest version, there are some changes along the way where Carrie made the deletion to the two paragraphs. And then before the last version, where I saved it, I changed or deleted ready in place of prepared. It's not a great change, but nonetheless, we can see the changes. So what we can do, as you recall in the track changes training video, or one of them, the second one, where you learn how to accept or reject changes by coming up here to the changes group, Let's go ahead and make sure a cursor is at the beginning and click on next. So we go to the first change and you know what? I really like those two paragraphs. So I'm going to go ahead and say reject, deleting them. And then it automatically goes to the next one and whew, that one's a stinker. I don't like prepared in place of ready. That just doesn't sound very poetic. So I'm going to go ahead and reject that change and reject the change of deleting ready because if I accept it, it would actually delete it. And it says there aren't any comments or track changes. We're done. Click okie dokie. And then notice up here, the save button doesn't have a refresh button. So it's not tied to SharePoint. So when you click save, it's going to save it to your desktop. So on my desktop, there's no other way. Click save. Then I can go ahead and close out. And then close out of here with it checked out. And it says you want to check it in now. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then did I make any changes to it? No, because I just did a comparison. So if at any point you're like, you know what? I really didn't do anything. You can click cancel, click on the file tab and say discard the checkout and say yes. Now it's still showing it's being checked out. So we can click on the ellipsis button and discard checkout and say okie dokie. And there we go. Okay, so we can minimize that down to the taskbar and it's right here. Double click to open it up and there you go. 
So all you have to do is go ahead, if you like, the marriage between the two. When you're comparing, you want to be able to now take that and have other people work on it. Well, go back to your SharePoint site and click on New Documents. Go ahead and browse for it on your desktop and upload it. And then that way, if you want, start doing the versioning for that. Or if you create another folder and don't have the versioning feature turned on for that folder, then that's entirely something different anyways. But remember, we turn the versioning feature on for the Documents folder. So any document that we change in here is going to keep track of the versions within that folder. It's going to keep track of each time we check it in and check it out, requesting that we assign a version to it every time.